friend. Today we are going to learn about different tools that artists use to create their artwork. Did you know that you can use just about anything to make art? Now, traditionally we paint with paint brushes or um, sponges, but did you know that you can paint with things like your fingers or Kleenex or tissue make different textures or cotton balls or you can even take oil and spread that around and make different textures and things out of your, in your paint or in your pictures. Some artists even take clay and they mold the clay onto the canvas to create a texture and then they paint over it so it looks like it's part of the painting. You can do lots of different things to create all these different scratches and marks on your picture to make it look like there's lots of different textures. Should we try it? Hey friends! Welcome to the Make It Studio. This is my friend Brooke and we are going to do a craft with you today. I hear you all are studying about doctors. So we are going to do a craft where we paint but like doctors. All right, today you will need a piece of paper. You will need paint. I have all the primary colors. I have blue and yellow and red, so we can mix them and make all the other colors. I also have cotton balls, or you can use gauze or tissue, and we have clothes pins, and you can use that, or tweezers if you have tweezers at home. And then we also have gloves, just to make sure our hands don't get super messy. So we're going to do a craft with clothespins, and you can use tweezers if you want. And what we're going to do is pick up our cotton ball or gauze or tissue with our clothespin, and we're gonna paint with the cotton ball. What shape do you think that's gonna make? A handprint? A no, handprint? well, it would be a handprint if we did, if we did it like that. But this will make little round dots all over. Because it's nice and round. But if you have gauze or you have um, tissue, it'll make all different different shapes on there. So let's start by putting on our gloves. Here's some gloves for you. Now, if you don't mind getting messy, you don't have to wear gloves. Or if you have washable paint, you don't have to wear gloves. But we're going to wear gloves today just to be safe. We're gonna pinch it and pinch the cotton ball. There you go. Oh, see, you two-handed it, and that, that probably works better. All right, what color do you wanna paint with first? Blue. Blue? All right, you do blue. All right, and then we're gonna dab it on the paper to make a design on the paper. Red is a great favorite. It's like apples. It is like apples. Red for apples. Awesome. Blue for blueberries over there. Blue and red mixed. What does blue and red mix make? Orange. No. What color is that making? Black. Um, it is pretty dark. Yeah, let's see. You do some more blue. What color did that make? Purple, and that's my favorite color. Yeah, there you go. All right, now what's gonna happen if we take the yellow and put it in our red? What color is that making? Now, orange. Now it's making orange. Red and yellow make orange. So there we have all the colors on our color wheel. Oh, yeah, night. Yes, you can do that. You can make them all the poofy colors or you can mix them together and everything makes a different shape or texture. 
But yeah, you can cover the whole paper with all of your colors if you want to and find out all the different colors that you can mix. Do you know what happens when you mix all of the colors? It turns brown. Oh. So maybe you don't mix all of the colors, but you can mix the red to get and blue to get purple. You can mix the yellow and the blue to get what color? Yellow. Yellow and blue make green. green. And then the yellow and red mm -hmm. make orange. orange. All right, now you paint at home and see how many different colors you can find or make with your paint. And we're gonna finish up here. We'll see you next time. Bye!